what is up guys and welcome back to the channel and as you can see it's a good day today because we have a new bit of gear on the table this is the circuit rhythm from novation this isn't actually a particularly new piece of gear but it's something that's caught my eye over the years that it's been out and I decided to send an email to Novation last week and see if they could send one out to me and they were really quick to get back to me. They were super friendly so shout out to Connor who I dealt with there. They got this to me I think within a week so I was absolutely over the moon with that and because of that I'm going to be doing a little series of videos about this. We'll be doing some beat making, some tutorials, I'm going to do walkthroughs, all that kind of thing so if you're thinking about buying this device or maybe if you've never heard of it before hopefully my videos can sort of show you how it works see if it's right for you and yeah maybe you'll end up being a user of one of these devices as well so the first thing that i want to say is yeah obviously this was sent to me free of charge but there's no stipulation over what i'm going to say about this device guys i'm always honest with all the gear that i receive i'll be covering everything with this device the good the bad and the ugly uh, but in today's video i just kind of wanted to do a quick introduction talk about some of the features and I'll quickly play you some of the beats that I've been making as well. So as you can hopefully see from this video, this is a very portable unit. It's not very big, it's very lightweight, it's mainly made from plastic but it's a super hard plastic. So I don't think you need to worry about this getting damaged too easily, I think it's going to be able to stand up relatively well. It might be worth getting a case for it obviously but yeah all in all the construction feels really nice really premium it's nice and lightweight so that you can transport it and one of the great things as well is it's got a built-in battery now i know some people don't like that because it isn't serviceable and some of you guys prefer to plug in your own batteries but personally to me i just thought it was great that uh, yesterday when this arrived i just literally charged it on the usb for a little bit and then i had this all around the house just in various locations just making little beats making little grooves so it was really fun for that and with me being all geared up to take the sp out obviously i need to wait till the weather gets a bit better and a bit warmer this can just come along it doesn't need a power supply it can just tag onto the sp404 mark ii and i'll be able to include that in outdoor videos again when it becomes spring and summer next year so i've got a feeling this is going to be featured quite a lot i'm already really enjoying being at this device and spending time with it the learning curve has been very very minimal and that is one of the best things about this device which i've found so far is that it's been so easy to transition to this device and learn the basics. I mean, I haven't had it 24 hours and I've already got three ideas for beats down. I've already imported my own sounds. I've already been mixing and using the effects. So if you've got any sort of background in using devices, using samplers and groove boxes, you're not going to struggle to pick this up. And I actually really recommend this as a beginner device just because it's been that intuitive and that easy to get to grips with. I think beginners would have a lot of fun learning this device and then a lot of the things that you learn on this can be transferred to other things. So yeah, I think that's a massive plus point about this device is that it's really easy to use, it's really intuitive and because of that I've already been able to have quite a lot of fun with this uh, so that's really really nice. The pads in general feel actually better than the SP404 Mark II. They're obviously smaller so if you've got bigger fingers than me, I've got quite skinny little fingers, but if you've got quite big fingers you may struggle a little bit. I actually have found that I've hit the wrong pads a couple of times when I'm aiming for one and it's kind of hit another one as well. But I'm sure I'll become more precise over the next couple of days of working with this and that'll be fine. Like I mentioned, the actual feel of them is really, really nice. The black buttons around the edge, they're kind of got like a nice squidgy feel to them, but there's a click to them as well. They feel good. And then the white ones in the middle, they're firmer, but have a similar kind of slightly spongy feel uh, just a little bit firmer than the ones around the edge i don't really see this as a device that you do much finger drumming on it's more of uh placing things on the grid that being said though you can put things in on the grid without quantize on this device so i have been doing hi-hats and things like that but yeah i would say the pads feel nice uh they work well for beat making no complaints with them really and like i say i think they are a bit of a step up from the sp404 mark ii the dials were a weird one to get used to they're actually quite strange when you first start using them because they feel like they're really stiff and i think this is just because i come from an sp kind of background but other devices that i own as well they don't feel like this they kind of feel really stiff but then when you start using them with the device it makes sense they're basically very sensitive so you do have to spend a little bit of time getting used to that 
you have to be more precise with these than say on the SP404 Mark II or on an MPC, but you do kind of quickly get used to it. That is a little bit fiddly. I don't really see it too much of a downside really. It's just a case of getting used to it. So yeah, all in all, I'm super happy with this device really. I mean, obviously I didn't pay for it, but I think even if I had paid for this, you know, I would equally be having as much fun with it, that's for sure. Uh, so what I wanted to do now is just quickly show you some of the beats that I've been making and then we'll do a little wrap up at the end. I'd love to know your thoughts on the, these beats that I've made. The fact that it's so easy to make beats on this and jump between projects. I can see myself being very productive on this device. So yeah, three projects that I've got here, you can see one, two, and three. We'll start on one. Uh, I'll go through them all and show you a little bit of what this device can do. Now, sound-wise, I have to confess that I'm gonna be running this through my SP404 Mark II. I mean, why wouldn't you if you've got an SP? It always adds that extra flavor. So at the side, I've got my SP404 Mark II with my bus three and four speciality, which is the two compressors. So yeah, we'll put those compressors on now and I'll run through these beats and you can get a feel for what I've been making. I hope you enjoy the sounds. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those sounds, guys. I've been having a lot of fun putting those together. I tried to make a few different beats which were different in sound, so you could get an idea of the kind of things that this can do. Like I mentioned earlier, I think I'll be doing a lot of stuff on this device. The fact I've already put three together in the space of 24 hours, and I'm sure there's gonna be many more filling these project banks out in the near future. So let me know your thoughts below. Do you own a circuit rhythm? Have you used one before? Is it something you'd be interested in buying? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed those beats. And by the way, all of those were made with my Christmas drums pack, which is available on spvids.com. All the links are in the description. That is available for December only. So be sure to grab that in this limited time. I really appreciate everyone that's been picking that up. It really does mean a lot, guys. 
thank you very much for that. So thanks for watching. I'm really looking forward to doing more videos on this. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see, let me know. Obviously, I'll be going through the main things like workflow, the effects, how to load sounds on, all those kind of things are going to get covered. But yeah, you just need to be a bit patient. They're going to be laced in with my SP content and the content that I'm doing on other devices as well. So you should see circuit rhythm videos trickling onto the channel every now and again. I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. As usual guys, keep making beats and I will be back with more content very, very soon.